also researching new spacecraft for the future. One way is through propulsion. With the new exploration vision, we will need propulsion systems that will be low cost and will enable rapid, safe, and reliable access to, in, and from space. So why do we need new propulsion systems? Aren't the old ones good enough? Most U.S. propulsion systems are based on 1950s and 60s technology. They're high risk and expensive. Right now, it costs $10,000 per pound to put payload into Earth's orbit. Wow, that's a lot of money. Exactly. So for us to carry out the exploration vision, the missions must be affordable, the reliability must be increased, and we must find a way to rapidly and safely take us beyond Earth's orbit to the Moon, Mars, and beyond. What types of propulsion systems are being researched? The primary ones for exploration are chemical, like these here, nuclear, electric, and propellantless propulsion systems. What's a propellantless propulsion system? One type is a system that uses solar sails. These are sails much like those found on a ship. Solar sails are made from thin layers of mylar and act like a very large mirror. As photons of sunlight strike the sail and bounce off, they gently push the sail along. How does electrical propulsion work? You can't have an extension cord in space. No, it uses electrical energy from a solar array to accelerate a propellant. There are three types of electric propulsion systems. Electrothermal, which uses electrical heat. Electromagnetic, which creates thrust using a magnetic field. And electrostatic, which uses charged particles in an electric field. Don't we currently use chemical rockets? Yes, and they have been the primary means for transportation in space because of the very large amounts of thrust they generate that are needed to overcome Earth's gravity. As fuels become more advanced, chemical propulsion will continue to play a vital role in space transportation. They all sound great, but isn't one propulsion system better than the other? Well, there are pros and cons to each system. The choice of propulsion system depends on the energy requirements of the mission, its duration and destination, and whether it is robotic or human. I can't wait to travel through space. It's so exciting. Yes, it is. So keep studying your math and science. Don't worry. I will.